All right, Virgo, <laughs> looking into the person that you are dealing with and or thinking about, we're looking into the past, present, and future energy. With the past, we have the Ten of Wands. Present is the Five of Swords in reverse. And then we have the Five of Cups and the Page of Pentacles in the future energy. So you could be connecting with a fire sign, air, water, or earth, really. We have all of those placements here already. In the past, though, this person felt as though you were quite... The connection between the two of you was very heavy. They kind of viewed the situation as a burden, like, and possibly a burden that they didn't want to carry necessarily at the time. They felt very weighed down by this. It weighed very heavy on their heart and not necessarily in the best way. It was kind of like they just felt like they were taking on a responsibility that they didn't want to take on that wasn't you know, in their plans, in their cards, and they just felt very weighed down. I don't feel like they had too much you know, love towards the situation because they were just trying to deal with the weight of it all, that they couldn't necessarily figure out how they really felt because of the pressure, because of the weight, because of the responsibility and the burden that they carried and that weighed on their emotions and that weighed on their mind and their heart. In the present position though, if you guys had fights in the past, I want to say that in the present position, this person is feeling like they want to come and talk to you. They want to kind of just not fight anymore. They don't want to walk away from the situation anymore. They don't want to be immature about it anymore. And they really want to resolve whatever the issues that you once had were. So this person is in this energy of just feeling like, hey, I don't want to fight anymore. Can we talk? And I feel like this is exactly what this person is coming in to do because their future energy and their future feelings is one of coming in. You know, the page is a card of the messenger. And then we have the three of cups. So it's kind of like coming in and maybe wanting to be your friend even. But I see this person wanting to talk to you, wanting to see where things can go, putting their resources and time into you and, and just, you know, celebrating you and honoring you and maybe you both honoring each other and seeing if you can have that that supportive relationship and that supportive connection that maybe this person always wanted from the beginning and you just were both never able to get it to that state but I do see them coming in their energy towards you is one of like feeling like okay I, I want to explore this again I want I want to make things feel light and airy and and at least have us be friends you know we don't have to not talk to each other things don't have to be heavy especially if they were so if you were fighting with this person a lot in the past this is somebody who in the present moment honestly is like I want to talk to Virgo right now like I want to come and tell Virgo the truth I want to see if we can get things off the ground again and if we can have a very supportive relationship or a friendship or a connection in general okay this person I yeah yeah they're I feel like I feel like they're realizing the impact that you had right now and they're realizing how much they wanted to be with you and how much they do want to be with you you know and regardless of that that heaviness that they felt in the past they're stepping into the present moment and they're saying you know what this is how I feel and I feel a lot of love towards Virgo I feel a lot of love and a lot of passion and 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 I and I want I want to talk to you. I want to tell you how I feel. I want to tell you what I see. I want to tell you what I want. And and what they want is to come in and truly be with you, right? I feel like at a, at a certain point they 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 were in this phase of wanting to release this, of thinking you know maybe I, I should release this, maybe I should let go. You know if we have water energy coming through here with Scorpio energy, the Death card and the Five of Cups. So I feel like this person went into a phase of regret, almost like mourning the situation. And, and I feel like this is past energy and it might still be lingering now and is why they want to come forward and be honest and, and speak to you and why they're feeling such a pull to do so. We'll see if they actually do it because we're going to look at future actions in a minute. But I feel like they were in a period of like, I need to release this, transform this energy and let it go. But they kind of were stuck in 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 mourning the situation. And I don't think that they expected to feel the way they felt, especially if they were the one to cut things off. Even if you were the one that cut things off. they I feel like this person in the past was like, once I get this weight off of me, everything will be fine. You know what I mean? Like once this weight is gone, I'll feel better. 
And I feel like the weight went away when the connection might have severed or you guys took a quick break. And the weight only became more prominent for this person. And so they went into this state of regret, of remorse, of mourning, honestly. Right. And so they weren't really making a decision to come forward at that time. They were really juggling their emotions, trying to figure out how they really felt, what to do, trying to gain clarity over the situation, not really moving one way or the other. Right. And right now they're in this state of being like, no, you know, I went from the hanged man situation and I don't want to be in this. I don't want to be in this energy anymore. So I'm moving out of that and I'm moving towards resolution. I'm moving towards Virgo, you know, riding very fast towards you is the energy that they're feeling, you know, even if things were rocky and they might still feel like, OK, things were rocky with us and things were heavy and things were intense. But I still want to come and speak my truth. I still want to be with Virgo. Um, and I just see like an obsessive energy. I feel like you're constantly on their mind. Right. And I feel like this person, especially if they took a while and are taking a while to come back around, maybe you haven't heard from them in a while. They were kind of waiting on divine timing. You know, we are going into that next Mercury retrograde period. So be on the lookout for a lot of people from your past coming back up towards the end of the month into February, because that's when Mercury is going into retrograde. But this person, I feel like they want to heal the situation, you know, Ace of Cups. And that, you know, the star card Aquarian energy and that page of Pentacles with the with the three of cups is just reminds me of this right here. You know, this combo of starting something new emotionally spilling out to you how they really feel. And because they feel very strongly, they feel so strongly towards you. I feel like honestly, the separation or the distance and maybe that lack of communication has cause them to just like that love that they that little bit of love that they might have felt for you but they were just overwhelmed by the weight has just snowballed within this distance and you wouldn't know it until they came back but I see them really coming back and telling you the truth and trying to make sure that you know you do feel secure you know what I mean I feel like at a certain point they did truly want to focus on themselves, you know, within that distance of the five of pentacles and the king of pentacles. They were like, I just want it to be about me. The weight's off me. This person's, you know, Virgo's out of my life. We're taking a break. I can just focus on myself. And they tried to do that, you know, during this break. But at the same time, they couldn't, they couldn't truly run away from everything that they were feeling. And then sometimes you, you can't, you know, because they did want to manifest something. They did. They wanted, they want to, they wanted to see where things could go. And I feel like they still do. They have a lot of, of emotions, a lot of feelings for you. And they can't, they really can't shake you. And I feel like they just, I feel like the only thing that this person can think to do is come in and tell you the truth, is come in and reconcile, is come in and be honest, especially after this complete rock bottom that this person hit and, and the separation and the breakup that you guys encountered. I do see this person coming in, you know, feeling as though, okay, they're good enough now. You know, maybe they've worked on themselves and they can be open and honest with you. They can be emotionally available because it could have been the case that somebody here wasn't emotionally available. They weren't taking, you know, the offer or the connection as seriously as they could have. And so someone here decided to move away, this person or you, but here they come again, ready to work on the situation, ready to start something new. Could have been connecting with a fire sign. You have a lot of fire here, water, really all the signs. All right, let's see what this person's future actions are towards you. What is this person's future actions towards Virgo? Yep, six of pinnacles. They're coming back in to pour into this again. They're coming back in to give to this again. Like I said, they're coming back in. If they haven't already, I mean, they're probably going to come like a bat out of hell. But they're coming to tell you the truth about their feelings. All right. Let's get a little preview as to what this person would like to say to you. If you would like to grab a drink of water, I'm going to shuffle three decks to get what this person would like to say to you. And then I'm going to read all of the messages. Okay. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Leaving you hurt me too. A long, tight hug from you would be perfect right now. I can still see you standing there. 
we are in each other's lives we are in each other's life for a reason thank you for showing up but i'm somewhere between giving up and seeing how much more i can take i fear that you will reject me i know i messed up and did things that made it seem like i don't care but trust me i did i still do and it's so hard not talking to you this connection forces me to focus on healing you are the glow that lights up my life I know I screw things up, but I honestly have no idea how to fix it. I need to go my own way for a while. I just want you to be happy. I can't give up on my responsibilities right now. It really was me, not you. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. You were special to me, even though I told you otherwise. I'm working towards a better future. I'm trying to do the honorable thing. How could you still love me after all I've done? I feel safer in the silence, honestly. Songs are speaking to me and you still hold a piece of my heart. You feel like home to me. It's just easier to stay away right now. Seeing you reminds me of all the things I know deep down and that's not always easy to deal with. I care too much about what others think right now. I'm too much to handle right now. Will you be with me? It was my fault, but I blamed you. And I hide behind material things. I know I was a distraction from your pain and I feel you leaving me behind. We both know I'm not the one. Please forgive me. You came closer than anyone. Please be patient with me because I can't stand to see you with someone else. This person is still a little bit conflicted, I'm feeling. But overall, I feel like the consensus is like they do want to come forward. Maybe they're still a little bit scared for those of you who maybe they don't come out right away. They're still just dealing with a lot. Know that you were on their mind. Know that they still have intense feelings for you. And, you know... They do want your forgiveness. They do want to come back in. They do want to be with you. But I do fear, feel like this person does like fear rejection and fear your reaction if they were to come back in. I do see them coming back in regardless with their actions being, you know, the six of pinnacles. I do see them coming back in for, for some of you. Like they're coming in like a bat out of the hell to tell you how they truly, truly feel and to just resolve things with you because they still care for you. They really, really do. 